I'm John Arena. I own some pizzerias in Las Vegas. I do some consulting. I've been involved in the pizza industry since my childhood. Well, I, I grew up in a, in a pizza household. Everything revolved around a family business. And as a young child, five and six years old, I would go into the pizzeria and I was allowed to do some little tasks. But I was always looking at the ovens, and the ovens had that big red Blodgett logo on the, on the, on the nameplate. And I was looking at that all the time, and my, my uncles and my dad would say, well, when you get older, you'll be able to make pizzas. That, me that metal box was like a magic box. Dough and sauce and cheese came out, and this wonderful food came, came out when you opened the door again. I started to really fall in love with it as a young child because my dad used to work in the pizzeria at night, but when he came home, no matter how late it was, he would always come into my, into my room and kiss me goodnight. And I could smell the aroma of the pizza, and I, I guess I, I always associated that fragrance with love. I can remember so distinctly how excited I was the first time I made a pizza. The first time I took, put a pizza on a peel and slid it into that Blodgett oven with my uncle standing behind me holding my hand and helping me to get it off the peel. But when I turned 13, the day after I turned 13, my uncle said, okay, now you can make pizzas. You're a grown up now. And the feeling of opening that door myself and putting my own pizza into that oven it was like the greatest feeling in the world. That first pizza that I made got sold. And if you look at a company like Blodgett, they're definitely rooted in their traditions, but they're not bound by their traditions. Their tradition informs what they do next, and it gives them a moral compass, but it doesn't stop them from innovating. And that's what's fascinating about a company like that. We have to identify which characteristics really are essential to creating a certain product. You know, we might, we might love the romance of a 16th century oven, but we're living in the 21st century world and we're dealing with 21st century customers and 21st century health requirements and 21st century employees. So for many of my locations, it's Marsal's because I have gas availability, the type of pizza that I'm doing in those locations. Um, if you have great ingredients, but you don't know how to use them, you don't have equipment that will honor those ingredients and allow them to shine, you have nothing. Um, I have Parkinson's disease, which affects my, my head coordination and ability to make pizzas commercially. I'm always mindful of the fact that soon I'll make my last pizza. So I try to make my pizzas with the enthusiasm that I had for the first one and the reverence I would have if I knew it was the last one I was gonna make. It's so important that we, we share our experience and our knowledge, and if you do it correctly, it honors the people that taught you, and it carries on their work. My dad, who is 95 years old, continues to work in the pizzeria every day. He's always engaged, he's always in there, he's always looking at what we can do better and what, we can, what we're gonna do next. And he always says to me, our pizzeria is not a museum, it's a laboratory. I love everything about every pizza. You know, I, I, I try to, when I, when I look at a pizza, I try not to judge it within the context of what I particularly enjoy or don't enjoy. I try to, I, I try to enjoy it or appreciate it in the context of who was making it, where it was made, and how that pizza tells me the story of both of those things.